Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings to you all. Excellencies, distinguished delegates. Good day from Jakarta, Indonesia. I hope you are all in very good health. I feel highly honored and pleased to be invited to the Horace's Global Meeting 2022. The COVID-19 pandemic had a devastating impact on the tourism industry. In 2020, the world saw a huge drop of international tourist arrival by around 72%. The contributions of tourism, which amounted to 3.5 trillion US dollar in 2019, or around 4% of world GDP, was cut by more than half in 2020, plunging by 2 trillion US dollar to around 1.8% of world GDP. After two years of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are finally seeing the ray of hope that global tourism has begun to grow. UNWTO confirmed that global international tourism arrivals increased by approximately 130% in January 2022, compared to the year 2021. Global data also showed that the global travel and tourism sector reports 1.8% growth just for the first quarter of 2022. These growing global recovery shows that we must rebuild and look to the future with hope instead of fear. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen the current geopolitical conflict and its impact towards the global recovery process. Therefore, we need to urgently cease conflicts, avoid all forms of violence, prioritize diplomacy in resolving differences, and promote peace and mutual understanding. Tourism is a tool that brings people together, a bridge to connect from one culture to the other, and a hammer to break barriers. Tourism also a peace-building component. It is an industry without borders that works as a potential peacemaker. Therefore, it is important to uphold peace and mutual understanding. Now is the time to diplomatically work together. We must not allow political tensions turns into a man-made crisis that will undermine our collective progress of global recovery. Once again, I believe that tourism and peace building efforts are things that cannot be separated. I hope that the current global conflicts could be resolved immediately through diplomacy. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oh, wonderful. You know,